Right. Um, that's my title. Too many words. Um, I'm Gerard Meissen. Uh, I blog on ultimategerardm.blogspot.com. Um, I blog an awful lot about GLAMS. So if you have that and add slash label slash GLAM, then you find an awful lot of information and things that I'm interested in. Uh, one of the things that uh, is interested in that the second most used pictures from the Bundesarchive is uh, uh, Georges Pompidou. So the uh, French uh, presidents are doing well there. The third is a uh, Khrushchev from the, uh, uh, the Russian president. And the first one is Heinrich Himmler. So, yeah, it, what can I say? Um, so, how do I then go to the next picture? Ah, right. Um, so what's the, st okay, how many of you are from the glam world? Let's have a hand. How many people are from a museum, a library, an archive? Okay, so what's your strength? You are about cultural heritage. If you don't do it, who is going to do it? You have the source things and they are important and we rely on them to be there. So. From my point of view, it is vital that we not only have your pictures, your images, because if they're public domain, we can't just grab them and do. You don't have the image. Sorry? It's not, it's not the same. Ah, so, <laughs> it is really confusing because I don't see there what's over there, so. Yeah. I just, it's, hmm? let me check. Can I, can yeah, I? and this error file. This one. Ah, okay. You conserve um, uh, historic uh, material. You have the expertise and you know uh, how to conserve them in the optimal conditions. You provide an anchor to the past, to the reality of the past, because that's something different again. Um, you present this historic metal, uh, material to a modern audience. You enable studies. You do good. You are good at supporting local culture and local communities. Yeah, that's the same one. So, where are you weak? Your strength is in supporting local communities, a local language, a local point of view. And uh, if you know the Latin scripts and you get a, uh, uh, something like this with the code, then there are lots of people who have a problem reading the Latin scripts. So what happens if you have uh, your cultural heritage in another language and there is an awful lot of cultural heritage in museums and libraries and archives in the Netherlands, in France, in England, then you basically can't read it. This is in Latin, and with some support you know that an M is not an N, but if you are talking about Batak, uh, it is now in Unicode, but there is no font for it. We are looking for 5,000 euros, and then we can have uh, a whole new cultural area basically uh, being digitized and being used. Um, your core collection needs uh, constant marketing. So, um, uh, you keep it and you have to sh keep on telling people why what you do is relevant and you lead uh, scholars to consider your relevance and that's essential because if you don't do it you're not uh, uh, shown to be important and consequently you will have a harder time getting subsidies uh, next time. Um, Many of the axioms that are uh, part of how you do business have changed with the digital age. Because what is the role of a library when all the books can be had by Google Books or what have you in a digital way? Why would you go to the library? So you have to provide uh, new ways of making sure that people understand why it is important to go to a library, why the work of a librarian has added value. That is the key thing where we should uh, work together. Right. 
media files that are freely licensed or public domain will be used by 270 plus Wikipedias. At this moment in time, there are something like 30, 40 Wikipedias waiting in the wings to have all the requirements uh, um, uh, established. And when they do, we will have more Wikipedias. In the last half a year, something like five, six Wikipedias have been added. So when people say 270, believe you me, there are more of them. When um, there are uh, when images are available, they will be used. So if they are in a book, if they are in a magazine, if they are somewhere on the internet and they provide uh, um, the possibility to use them under a free license uh, or being public domain, people will grab it and uh, that is not necessarily a good thing for you and for us. For us, um, what we do is we annotate uh, facts, we uh, um, have learned to uh, care about the relevance of the annotations of media files. It is important because if you have good annotations, then it is possible to find the material to uh, in between the 7 million something um, uh, comments files. And 7 million pictures, if you ask me, it should be 70 million pictures, but that's a different story. You have to appreciate that Commons is the central storage of all Wikimedia Foundation projects, but it is a different project. It has its own policies, it has its own communities, it is different. And that is something to appreciate that Commons is not Wikipedia and Wikipedia is not Commons. Commons is there for all the uh, Wikipedias. Outreach to Clums at this moment in time is uh, done typically through uh, yet another community and they are most often uh, Wikimedia chapters or sometimes it is just a guy showing up at your door and saying, hey guys, we want to collaborate. I did that with the Tropen Museum. We didn't have a contract because uh, we were not bound by anything. They were not bound by anything and we just wanted to uh, work together. So we understood what we wanted to do and we just did it. No fuss, no muss. It was great. Um, what we do for our GLAMS, and I hope you all will be our GLAMS. Um, we use the media files in our projects and we use them a lot and they get seen a lot. We blog about uh, GLAMS, that is I do and I know that uh, Liam does and I know that uh, Matthias does, but he does it in German. So I do it in Spanish. And she does it in Spanish, but who reads Spanish? Well, I don't. <laughs> And, and, and for me it is important to learn about these stories because if I learn about these stories I'm quite happy to have a new story in English, no it's not a new story, but have the same story in English because what we need to know is we need to learn from each other, we need to know what the good examples are, we need to know where uh, the issues are and we have, when we have that we can do b uh, better. Another thing that is quite interesting, we digitally restore pictures, that is we have a high resolution picture and we make it look as good as uh, humanly possible. And an important thing, we are in for fun projects. So if you have a project where you think we need a, uh, a community, we get involvement from uh, perhaps the Wikimedia world, then propose it to us and you may find that we can uh, work together. So who knows Europeana? That's good. That's good, because one of the things that we can do for Europeana, they already localize in the many languages, but we can localize it in other languages as well. If they were to work with us in one of our projects, we could localize Europeana into um, Indonesian, into um, 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 uh, Tagalog into uh, Macedonian, languages that uh, the cultural content that is available from Europe for the European GLAMS is not available to. And one of the key things to appreciate is that many contents that we have in the European GLAMS are important outside of Europe as well. And if we can make Europe more relevant by localizing the European interface, then that is one of the things that we could do. We have some contacts and I hope that at some stage that will work. Um, 
You can help us by defining what we should do for you. We can have more uh, statistics. We can have timely statistics. You can help uh, support uh, by using the public domain mark. You can ask for attribution of your images in our articles. You can consider how our community can uh, make a difference. Uh, Matthias gave a good example of how the annotation uh, helped uh, the uh, Bundesarchiv. And uh, we can give the content that you have global re uh, relevance. Now this is uh, a picture that is uh, quite topical at the moment. Um, uh, this is uh, Jimmy Wales uh, 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 photoshopped onto the face of a uh, satyr and he is guided gently into the waters. Okay, the key thing that I want to talk to about is that at this moment in time in comments, we uh, tell people how they can use our images uh, from the web. So I use images on uh, my blog, and what you then get is, and that is what you see here, that the image is uh, by the rover. It's uh, there from Wikimedia Commons, and as he did a splendid job putting his head on top of that one, uh, you can see uh, uh, everything that you need to know. So attribution can be used by using pictures from comments. But the picture actually looks like this. It is a picture from William Adolf Bouguereau, uh, pardon my French. It's called uh, Nymphs and Satyr, it's from 1873, and it's in the Sterling and Friends in Clark Art Institute. And that's in Win uh, Williamstown, Massachusetts, the United States. The thing is, if I use this picture, and I don't know for a fact that, no, I haven't, uh, right? Uh, if you put it onto, then it will only tell you that it's by William Adolf uh, Bougereau. It tells you that it's an infant satyr, but it will not tell you about the Sterling and Francine Clark Art Institute. And for you as a GLAM, it's important that we tell the world about where you can find the original. The key thing is, it's important to us as well, because that is how we establish that a work like this is the original, that you can find it, that you can see what it looks like, and that gives the same uh, level of relevance to a work as annotations do for text. I've been involved with the Tropen Museum. They provided images about Suriname and Indonesia, and uh, they were seen something like four million times in October. They were used in 3,475 uh, times in 69 wiki projects, and what's important to me is that they were used 2,013 times in the Indonesian Wikipedia and only 561 times in the Dutch Wikipedia. The point being is the material that is the cultural heritage in this case for Indonesia happens to be in a Dutch museum. And the only way in which they can get to their cultural heritage is when this material is freely available on the internet. Um, there are all kinds of stories that I can tell you about how that made a difference, but the key thing is uh, if you have material in your archive that is uh, relevant outside of France, consider making it uh, uh, available to us because we can make it a shared cultural heritage, not only for France, but also for the uh, previous uh, uh, colonial uh, countries or whatever uh, we're talking about. And another thing that's quite nice, we have been given uh, by the Tropen Museum high resolution pictures to make uh, conferences extra nice. This is, uh, for instance, a guy uh, from a, a French colony and he's blowing a war horn. I blocked about it, so if you want to read more about it, uh, you can. Uh, this picture has been digitally restored, so I'm quite happy to show it uh, to you on this higher resolution. Um, as it is not a uh, digital picture, people didn't consider that it could be a, um, a what's it called, um, a featured picture, so they voted against it for technical reasons that have everything to do with digital pictures and not with uh, analog pictures. But this is a relevant picture because the 
people that uh, this picture is about don't have a Wikipedia article in any Wikipedia. So at some stage, if a culture has to ex exist it and you only know it by pictures, then at some stage you have to have the pictures in order to get uh, the message out that we need an article about it as well. And this was courtesy of the Tropen Museum. So, Europeana. I think if you can work with them, that is vitally important because that is one way where you can make uh, much more impact as an organization and even more impact within the Wikimedia Foundation. It is where you can uh, gain visibility. Um, there is, and there is all kinds of information that is uh, relevant to you. For instance, the Dutch National Archive published a, publi uh, something about how to digitize pictures. Now, I'm sure that m most people who are really involved in digitizing pictures don't need to be told, but there are still many uh, glams that are at the start of doing exactly that. Having a good book about that is really important. What I'm going to ask them is to make it a wiki book, and I hope that many other people who have um, information about how to conserve material, that it can become a, a wiki book as well, so that we have a place where good information on Digit, uh, uh, restoring and preserving material can be found. Uh, another thing that's important is they uh, 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 developed the public domain mark together with uh, Creative Commons. And the key thing is, with that information, it will become possible to have attribution to public domain works uh, and that inform people where a uh, work can be found because it's important to know that a specific work can be found in a specific, specific um, uh, uh, museum of archives. So, what more can you do? Make it fun and give, uh, make it valuable. Um, people are best motivated when it's fun and, the, and when you value the work, you will find that uh, uh, it is important. For instance, some glams uh, allowed people to tag pictures with their own uh, words, and they found that the people keywords were, found, uh, were used 85% of the time, and the scientific keywords were, not, uh, were used only 15% of the time. But the key thing is, it meant that uh, the pictures were seen, they were found, they were used, and that is what it's all about. Another thing that you hear in many GLAM uh, conferences is about the Flickr program. It's not open for new business, and guess what Wikimedia Foundation is. And uh, when you have uh, information on uh, uh, your uh, website, you might use wiki, uh, hyperlinks to Wikipedia, for instance. Typically, I finish with this picture. Uh, it says thank you, and it shows uh, uh, in sign writing uh, this, uh, this, um, uh, the symbol for how to say thank you in American Sign Language. So if you are interested in sign languages, uh, talk to me, uh, because I am. And, uh, I think it is really valuable that the culture and the literature uh, that exists in the signing world uh, has its own place. They want to have a Wikipedia. It is only something like two, three hundred uh, languages that are sign languages. So it's quite categoric to have them oops, enabled. Thank you very much.